winning championship is the goal here. You know, with, with the moves bringing you guys in, adding Andre Kirilenko and the other moves that have been made this summer, where do you see you guys stacking up in the Eastern Conference as we speak? I think, I think we're going to be right up there with the best, though. I mean, right now, you talk about Miami. Uh, obviously, they're the champs. Uh, you look at what Chicago's doing, Indiana. And then I think you really got to take a close look at what we've been able to put together. When you put this type of talent on the floor, uh, in order for, for it to come together, for us to be one of those top teams, uh, that's what's got to happen. And I think, you know, with me, Kevin, and Jed, uh, along with Jason, uh, we don't have any egos. We want to be one of those teams. And we feel like with the talent we got, we definitely uh, are going to compete in the Eastern Conference and hopefully championship. This is Livingston, CBS2. Um, obviously, all the talk is about winning a championship, winning the Eastern Conference. But, of course, a lot of people around here just want to know how you guys stack up against the Knicks. you got to win New York first. Uh, as you look at the team right now, as presently constituted, uh, how do you guys stack up against the Knicks? Starting with Jason Kidd. <laughs> Should I revoke his press credential, Jason? Um, I, I thought this was for the players only. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I think, um, you know, we, we're talking about a championship. And so, uh, no matter if it's, you know, Miami, uh, Chicago, Indiana, you know, you, you, it's New York too, you know. Um, it is a nice rivalry here between the two of us. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can get the better of them this year. But, you know, the, the big picture is that championship trophy, and uh, that's what we're all up here, and that's what we stand for. And so, um, you know, the side is uh, that rivalry, and hopefully we can, you know, win more games. We tied last year, so um, the big thing is just to, to win that rivalry, but the gold, the gold trophy is what we're here for. Anybody else want to take that? <laughs> Let's move on then. Brian? <laughs> Brian Mahoney from the Associated Press. Uh, you'll get that question again down the line, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, Paul, for, for you, um, how long did it take to kind of get excited about this? Obviously, we know Kevin had some say about his future with the no trade. You didn't, uh, you've been in Boston longer. Uh, was it hard to kind of get used to this idea, or are you used to it yet that you're moving on? <laughs> uh, it hasn't really sunk in. I think it's really starting to sink in as we speak. Uh, just being in this arena. Uh, I saw my jersey up in the locker room. It was like, you know, you saw the trade, and it was like, okay, there's a trade. But for me to actually be here now, looking for a place to live, being in the Serena, uh, trying to get to know my way around the city, it, it's really starting to sink in now that it's become real. <laughs> I'm no longer a Boston Celtic. Uh, I'm a Brooklyn Net, and you know that's what it is right now. I mean, it's business. Some point we all have to move, in, move on, and uh, you know I'm here to try to create some kind of legacy here in Brooklyn. Ben Couch, BrooklynNets.com. Uh, this is for the three players. You guys all mentioned the championship potential of the situation you're coming to. What makes you feel you can slot in alongside the roster and why that exists? I didn't hear a question. <laughs> you guys all talked about the championship potential of this situation that you're coming to. How, how does the roster set up make you feel that that's possible with the games you're bringing to the team? Well, you not only can look at the names, but you got to look at what everybody brings. You got to look at the ability of the players. And I, when I look at that, I feel like we all kind of complement one another. I mean, you understand what Kevin brings. You know, he brings a, a defensive intensity, uh, a know-how uh, to win, a focus, a leadership. And you put him on the side of Rick Lopez, who, who's still learning the game, who's one of the best centers in the NBA, who 
who's trying to get to Kevin's level, you know, and in that sense alone, it, it helps the team. Uh, me having experience being in the league 15 years, being next to Darren or Joe or some of the younger guys to share my experience and what it took for us to win. Uh, and I think uh, we understand sacrifice. And we feel like, you know, the guys that are here, Darren, Brooke, we want them to continue to be there. We want them to continue to be all-stars, possibly even MVP candidates. You know, we're here to help them. We're here to help each other uh, to, to get that ultimate goal. And, you know, as, as the players we are, we feel like we have no choice but to make this work. So we're going to figure it out and, and make it work. Guys over here, uh, Andrew Rosario, what's the 411 TV? Both of you guys are a little up there in age. How do you envision how many are you? Are you? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> There's 50 year olds and 60 year olds. But they're not, but they're not playing basketball. Uh, no. How do you envision your minutes going through the season? Our who? Minutes? Minutes, yeah. You gotta talk to the guy to the right of right. All right, Jason. <laughs> their minutes down and I think you know Billy has put together a roster that is deep that you know these guys don't have to play you know 35 to 38 minutes a night so uh, that just that's a talent that I mean that's the depth that we have as a team so my job is to watch the clock and keep these guys minutes down and, and doing that you know maybe they won't they won't play one night uh, but we'll talk about that as as the summer goes on uh, but you know the, the bigger picture is for these guys to be healthy going into the playoffs. Tom. Tom Polker, BrooklynNets.com. Jason, can you talk about your time in Dallas with Jason and you know, how that developed your relationship with him and then you know, when you first found out that you were coming to Brooklyn and the idea of him being your coach? Well, those were some of the uh, best years of my career, obviously, uh, in Dallas, ending up and winning the championship, uh, playing a, alongside Jason. Uh, was a dream come true. Uh, the best point guard to ever play the game, in my eyes. Uh, and, and the entire time, he, again, he was coaching. If there was a play that needed to be drawn up, he would do it. Uh, if there was a practice that needed to be ran, he would be the guy out there making sure all the guys practice when they didn't want to. Uh, I mean, he, he was phenomenal. And that's why I believe this transition for him is going to be as smooth as any. Uh, because he's been doing it his whole career. And so, again, I'm honored, I'm privileged uh, to, to, again, be in a situation where I'm playing for a guy that understands me, he understands my game, uh, and so the chemistry is there. 